Welcome back for another installation video. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve one of the more annoying issues in an NC Miata. Uh, from the factory, Mazda does not install retainer clips for the passenger side floor mat. So one of the things that can end up happening is that whenever you have a passenger uh, getting in and out of the car, they end, to, they end up pushing the floor mat towards the, the front of the footwell and basically crumpling your floor mat. So today I'm gonna to show you how to install these retainer clips. Okay, let's talk about the parts that we're going to need. First, we'll talk about the clips themselves. So this is a, a OEM Mazda part. I'm not sure exactly which model it comes out of, but I was not able to find these here in the States. Uh, the only ones I could find are the hook style ones. And we want these, these peg style ones because we'll need to modify our factory floor mats. As you know, they don't come pre-cut for the hook style ones. So we'll have to buy these, uh, these retainer holders. Uh, the, the clips themselves, I was able to find on eBay. Um, these are genuine Mazda OEM parts, but I'm not sure what model they came out of. And uh, they're not available in the States. There's only one seller I could find, um, and that was available through eBay. Okay, if you lift up your floor mat, you'll see that there are actually some pre-cut slots for these retainers, but for some reason, uh, the NC, well, at least my NC3 didn't come with these already installed. Uh, so I bought these, these are the round retainer versions that will allow you to clip on some floor mats. Um, unlike the, the driver's side that uses hooks, these just use these, these rounded um, pegs. Uh, so what we'll have to do is we'll insert these in here and then I'll show you how to modify your floor mat to add the retainer holes in them. Let's take a closer look at the fastener or the retainer clip itself. Um, as you can see, it basically has a wide part that goes down here and then a smaller hole that goes there. So we'll want to slide it in from underneath here and then this piece here will extrude from underneath here and then we'll just fold it down and clip it on. Um, I don't think I can do this one-handed, so I'll, uh, I'll bring you back once it's installed. All right, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and install the factory floor mat and position it to where you, you like it. And we're going to have to mark uh, where on the format we'll have to cut in order to install the retainer clips. Um, we'll want to feel where it is and then mark it underneath where we need to do the cut. So one of the things I did was I just put blue painters tape underneath the floor mat because um, I don't have a, a marker that will uh, that can be visible on this uh, bottom of the, the floor mat. All right, I think the easiest way for you to cut out the hole is to take one of the retainer clips and you'll wanna take the top one because that diameter is gonna be larger and you just want to line up the hole and then press it down. And when you press it down on the tape, you'll see that it's left an imprint. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to take a razor blade and cut out that hole. Okay, so I've cut out the hole. Um, you'll see we have both sides of the retainer clips. So you want to take the top end, put it underneath, and then try to get the carpet around the round hole as best as you can try to tuck it in. Once you have that done, just take the bottom piece and just clip it on. And 
there you have it. So we'll need to clean off the, the excess here and then we'll do the installation. All right, so for the final installation, you just simply click it in. And there you have it, folks. Uh, we have retainer clips for our format, so now the format won't get bunched up up near the top of the footwell.